Hey, how's it going? Did you hear about the party next week? No, what party? Can you fill me in? Sure, a friend is throwing a party near the New Orleans. It's going to be a blast. Sounds fun. How can we get there? We can take a bus, but it's going to be packed like sardines. How about taking an Uber? Sounds like a plan. I don't want to deal with a crowded bus. What time are we meeting up? Let's meet up at 6 p.m. so we can arrive early and beat the crowd. Great idea. By the way, is there a theme for the party? Yeah, it's a Hawaiian themed party, so remember to dress to impress. Oh, that's cool. I'll be sure to wear my Hawaiian shirt and a lei. You'll fit right in. Can't wait to see you there. Me neither. See you at 6 p.m. next week. Catch you later. Hey, what's up? Not much. I'm planning to visit the Eiffel Tower this weekend. Do you want to tag along? That sounds like a blast. How are we getting there? I was thinking we could take the subway. It's easier than driving through the busy streets. Great idea. Do you know how long the journey takes? I'm not sure, but I think it takes about half an hour. We can kill two birds with one stone sightseeing on the way and enjoying our destination. That sounds perfect. So, what time should we meet up? Let's meet up at 10 a.m. in front of the subway station. Does that work for you? Absolutely. I'll see you then, and we'll paint the town red. Ha <laughs> ha! I can't wait. See you on Saturday. Hey! Hey! How was your weekend? It was lit. My friends and I went on a road trip to Niagara Falls. That sounds awesome. How did you go there? We rented a minivan and hit the road early in the morning. Ah, uh, carpooling is a piece of cake when you travel with a group. Exactly. Plus, we had a blast singing along to our favorite songs during the ride. Nice. How long did it take to get there? It took around five hours. But we made a pit stop at a diner for breakfast. Oh, I bet you were starving by the time you arrived at Niagara Falls. For sure. We went straight to a food truck and grabbed a bite. What was the highlight of the trip? The fireworks display over the falls was out of this world. That sounds picture perfect. I'm green with envy. You should join us next time. It would be even more fun with you. Hi, are you new to this city? I heard you are planning to visit the famous Statue of Liberty. Is that true? Yes, it's my first time here. I'm so excited to hit the road and explore this amazing city. That's great. I can help you get to the Statue of Liberty. The best way to get there is by taking the subway to Battery Park and then hopping on a ferry. I'm a bit worried, though. I don't want to get lost in the sauce while navigating the subway. Don't worry. It's easier than you think. Just follow the signs and the crowd, and you'll be in the right ballpark. All right, I'll give it a shot. Any other places you would recommend visiting? Well, you shouldn't miss out on Times Square. It's just a stone's throw away from here. I've heard it's lit at night. Thanks for the suggestions. No problem. Happy exploring and have the time of your life in this marvelous city. Thank you so much. I hope I'll get the hang of the city soon. I'm sure you will. Enjoy your trip, and don't hesitate to give me a shout if you need help. I will. Take care and have a great day. You too. Safe travels. Hey! Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Just daydreaming about going on a vacation. Wanna tag along? Sure. Sounds like a plan. Where are we going? I was thinking of catching some rays at the beach. Can you hail a cab for us? We can totally do that. Let's hit the road and get there by car.
That's a great idea. While we're there, let's soak up the ambience. I'd love to. You know what they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Absolutely. Oh, let's plan to visit that off-the-beaten-track local market that I've heard so much about. Sounds beyond the pale. I'm in. Cool. So, we'll hop in a cab to the beach, hang out there for the day, and then paint the town red exploring the area. That's perfect. We'll enjoy a fun-filled vacation, and it'll be worth its weight in gold for sure. All right then. It's settled. Get your bags packed, and let's start our adventure. Good morning, everyone. Today, we will engage in a conversation regarding taking transportation to a popular tourist attraction. But first, let's warm up by incorporating some popular slangs and idioms into our conversation. Can you all please turn to page 38 in your textbooks? Bob's your uncle. I've already turned to the right page. Great! Bob's your uncle is a British slang expression meaning there you have it or job done. Now, let's get started. I will provide you with some context for each idiom or slang term and then we'll review them together. In this conversation, Alice and Tom are discussing their upcoming weekend trip to see the Statue of Liberty. They will use both basic English phrases and colloquial expressions throughout the discussion. Let's begin! Hi, Tom. Are you ready for the big trip on Saturday? I'm totally stoked. You know, New York City has always been on my bucket list. Stoked means to be extremely excited or enthusiastic about something, and a bucket list is a list of things someone wants to accomplish or do before they die. Now, let's continue the conversation. Before we go, let's get our ducks in a row. Do we need to book tickets for the ferry? You're right. We should make a game plan. I guess we need to hit the hay early the night before so that we can catch the early bird to the city. Get our ducks in a row means to get organized or to make sure that everything is in order. Hit the hay means to go to sleep, and catch the early bird means to take advantage of an early deal, such as discounted transportation fares. That sounds like a plan. Once we're in the city, just hop on the subway, and Bob's your uncle. We'll be at the Statue of Liberty. Sounds like a piece of cake. Then, we can also explore the Big Apple and tick off more items from our bucket lists. As mentioned earlier, Bob's your uncle means there you have it or job done in this context. It means they will easily reach your destination. Piece of cake means something is easy and Big Apple is a nickname for New York City. So, can anyone give me a quick summary of the idioms or slang terms used in this conversation? Sure, we used Bob's your uncle, stoked, bucket list, get our ducks in a row, hit the hay, catch the early bird, piece of cake, and Big Apple. Excellent! Now let's practice using these idioms and slangs in our own conversations about taking transportation and visiting popular tourist attractions. Put yourself in pairs, and don't forget to have fun and be creative. Hi there, let's have a chat about going on a trip to a famous tourist attraction. Imagine we're going to the Grand Canyon using public transportation. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. Great. So, first things first, how do you plan to travel to the Grand Canyon? By train, bus, or flying on a plane? I think I'll take the bus. Nice choice. Buses can be cost-effective, and you'll go the extra mile in terms of sightseeing. By the way, the idiom, go the extra mile, means to make extra effort or try harder in order to achieve something. Now, before you hop on that bus, remember to hit the hay early the night before. Do you know what that means? No, what does hit the hay mean? 
It's a slang expression for going to bed early or going to sleep. It's important to be well rested for the trip. So, when you read the bus schedule, keep your eyes peeled for the departure time. That means, pay close attention to. All right, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Good. Now, let's say you arrive at the bus station and you have time to grab a snack before the bus leaves. To ask someone for recommendations, you can say, Can you give me the lowdown on the best snacks here? Give me the lowdown means to provide details or inside information. Can you give me the lowdown on the best snacks here? Perfect. In this case, I'd recommend trying a pretzel or a bag of chips. When you finally get on the bus and meet new people, remember to break the ice with the fellow travelers. That means to start a conversation to make everyone feel comfortable. How should I break the ice? You can start by saying, Hi, my name is Tom. Have you visited the Grand Canyon before? This can lead to a nice conversation during the trip. Hi, my name is Lisa. Have you visited the Grand Canyon before? That's it. You're doing great. Once you reach the Grand Canyon, don't forget to take lots of pictures and soak up the breathtaking views. Soak up means to fully enjoy and experience an atmosphere or situation. I'll definitely soak up the views. Fantastic. Now, you're ready for an amazing trip to the Grand Canyon. Remember these idioms and slang expressions, and you'll be a pro at using English colloquial phrases during your journey. Have a great time and break a leg. That means, good luck. Thanks. I'll break a leg. Hey, are you also going to the Grand Canyon today? Yes, I am. I'm excited to check it out. Do you have any idea how to get there? We can catch the B bus from here in a jiffy. Oh, that's cool. Is it your first time going there as well? Yes, it's my first time. I've heard it's a must see place. How about you? This is my first time too. I hope it lives up to the hype. Are you up for an adventure? Sure, I'm all ears. What do you have in mind? Let's hit the road and visit the Grand Canyon. Sounds like a plan. What's the best way to get there? We can take the bus, but we'll have to hustle because it leaves in 20 minutes. No worries, I can be ready in a jiffy. Perfect. Don't forget to bring your camera, the views are breathtaking. I'll definitely capture some memories. By the way, how much do the bus tickets cost? Oh, it's a piece of cake, just $25 per person. Awesome, that's dirt cheap. You bet. Before we go, let's grab a quick bite to eat. I'm starving, so that's music to my ears. See you at the bus stop. Hey, I'm thinking about hitting the town this weekend. What do you suggest we do? Great idea. Have you been to the new Blockbuster exhibition at the Art Museum? Take it from me. It's a must-see. Sounds interesting. How can we get there? We can grab a cab or take the subway. Both options are easy and convenient. What about trying the bike-sharing system? I've heard it's an off-the-wall experience. Sure, that could be a fun way to break the ice with the city's transportation. Do you know where the nearest bike-share station is? No, but I can look it up on my phone. While I'm doing that, could you suggest a place to eat nearby? I'm in the mood for something from scratch and to die for. Absolutely. There's a fantastic Italian restaurant not far from the museum. They make their pasta in-house, and let me tell you, it's a knockout. That sounds perfect. How do we make reservations? 
I can call them now and put us on standby, just in case they're fully booked. Thanks, and my sister might join us later. She's sort of a cold fish, so try to go easy on her. No problem. I'll make sure everyone feels comfortable. Don't forget to subscribe. And hit that like button.